This video explains how two basic types of radio waves propagate or travel from a transmitter to a receiver. There are two basic ways that radio waves travel in our atmosphere and they are determined by the frequency of the waves. For this video we will focus on two types of waves, HF or high frequency waves and VHF or very high frequency waves. There is another type of wave called UHF or ultra high frequency, but they travel the same as VHF waves. Radio waves are measured in frequency. Frequency is the number of waves that travel past you in one second. A high frequency wave will have more bumps. HF is a lower frequency than VHF. That is, VHF has more bumps than HF. When VHF waves travel, they cannot be blocked by a hill or building. It must travel in a straight line from transmitter to receiver. If the path is blocked, VHF waves cannot propagate. Many times, automatic repeaters are used to propagate signals around obstacles. However, a repeater needs to be high enough to reach everyone. Many automatic repeaters are used to propagate signals around obstacles. However, a repeater is needed to be high enough to reach everyone. If the repeater is not high enough, there will be areas where VHF radio waves will not propagate to. This is what happens in Caledon. There are two repeaters that are not high enough to reach into all low-lying areas in Caledon. HF radio waves bounce off the Earth's upper atmosphere called the ionosphere. These waves can travel very far distances and can avoid obstacles. When there are VHF dark zones in Caledon, areas will need to use HF radios to communicate with each other. VHF radios are typically small and can easily fit in your hand. HF radios are larger, more powerful, and use complex antennas. During weather-related disasters, it is far easier to use VHF radios to establish emergency communications. However, as you learn, VHF radios may need repeaters mounted very high in the air to be able to communicate around obstacles such as hills or buildings.